being able to kind of tell where somebody's coming from, putting myself in their shoes, and being able to relate to people. That's a big strong point for me, and that one I do feel like has gotten me a long way in life. I think everyone has some sort of creative capability. I fell in love with photography because of it being that art form. I quit the day job probably in about six years. I was making a living, I was paying my bills, but I just hated going to work. It was a leap of faith, but it's been worth it. I had a couple friends ask if I can do their weddings, and I said, sure, give it a shot. And then I just like, from there, I really fell in love with it. Um, I'm with my fiance and he has uh, two older kids and we have our two younger kids. But once the kids came around, everything's kind of shifted so you really do have to be a lot more organized. I did a lot more families than I've ever done last year. It's so much easier to photograph little kids once you can relate to them. It's become a great other business. Even though after doing more family stuff, I feel like weddings are still my favorite. I love my couples. Like the days are just incredible, full of people having a good time. And I just get such a buzz from that. So I'm a backlight queen. If I can get some backlighting, that's my go-to. Put those couples together face to face, like right at the hips. I usually will bust out my longer lens, then I can be farther away from them. And that's when I start getting in tighter and tighter and tighter. But I think not being in their face and them looking at each other instead of looking at me is gonna make them a lot more comfortable right away. I like getting movement in there so things are just not as stagnant just get them to like even sway back and forth or even give her a twirl do a little dance you can get all kinds of photos just from that first hip to hip shot editing obviously it takes up a lot of time and i think i met you guys at wppi and i was like wow somebody does this part of the job because it took me way too long so that's what i ended up doing is shoot dot edit started helping me with the after post part. So that workflow has been really great for me and it's totally worth every penny of it. There's so many things online like you can learn from, but you don't get the actual follow through that you would with a mentor or something saying like, you can do this. So find a mentor and watch it make your business change. I've gone to WPPI convention in Vegas a couple times and I fell in love with a couple people from there which is Sue Bryce, Susan Strickland, Susan is a wedding photographer and Sue Bryce does more portrait stuff. Sue is also an incredible speaker and educator. Another wedding photographer that I really love is India Earl. And she just has become a really killer educator too. It's fun to like see other people and how they work and then combine it or try new techniques and the clients love it. I'm seeing more and more women be photographers women are finding a way to be creative and a way to make money doing it. Learning a new career, it's a challenge, but don't let the fear of it maybe not working be your reason to not follow a passion that you have. Everything in life can be hard, you know, but you can always find a way. Don't give up, just keep fighting for it.